Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. Just went to my LCS trip number 88. While I was there picking up some silver rounds, he said, Hey, for $6 a piece, would you like these Liberty Seated Dimes? And I said, Yeah. So picked up, mm, what are there, nine of them there? Yeah, nine of them there. I couldn't beat that for $6 a piece. They were minted from 1837 to 1891. And uh, let's go ahead and break these out of the cases and look at them a little bit closer. All right, broke them all out of the air tights. We'll see how well this camera does. This would be an 1882 Philly. They minted 3,910,000. It's kind of been graded as a VF and it's worth $25. And yeah, not bad for not bad for $6. Perhaps it will start me into the getting more and more of these, but price has got to be right. And for $6, that's not a bad coin. The next one I have here is an 1883. And they're saying this is in very fine shape. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. They minted 7674673 and a VF is $25. Not bad. How much did you say that one was worth? $25. Oh, $25, well another $6 buy. Now we'll go to an 1888. Listed as being very good. They minted 5,495,655. And good is $15. That says very good on that. What you got is very good. There is no very good in the red book. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't know that. My bad. How much was that again? Another twenty-five dollars. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, all right. Still not bad for six bucks. Well, they even got the mint marks on these things. Like I said, I don't know a lot about the Liberty Seated Dimes. More of a Morgan Dollar collector. So this one's another eighty-eight and very good. So this is the same exact as the other coin was. Eh, not bad. All right, what do we got next? We got an 1889 San Francisco. My first one with a San Francisco mark on. They rate this as fine. Give me some numbers. They minted 972,678. Really? And fine is worth $30. Under a million minted. Hmm. $30 coin. Again, I don't want to say it too many times throughout this video, but that was a $6 buy. Not bad. Now, of course, that's red book values. And, you know, the coin's really only as worth as what someone's willing to pay you for it. So, you know, but red book's got that listed for $30. Not bad. We have an 1890 fine. From Philly. Minted 9,910,951. And for a fine, they have $20. Hmm. Yeah. All right. We go to another San Francisco one. 1890 San Francisco. Oh, here's some numbers. Well, that comes with a large and a small. 
um, the small is rare. So I'm going to say it's the large, 1,423,076. And that was a fine. Yeah, I see where the mint mark is now. It's at the bottom on the reverse. And they show it as $25. Not bad. Bad at all. All right, so we go to an 1891 Philly listed as very good, but you'll only have good there. This one has a little bit more shine to it compared to some of the others that we've had so far. Let's see the focus catch here. They minted. 15310000 And for good, it shows $15. Well, well, still not bad. All right. Last but not least, a 91S. One more San Francisco in that nine coin. They minted 3196000 116 and for good it's $15 not bad all right well there's the surprise from my LCS trip number 88 didn't expect to be picking up any uh, seated Liberty dimes not really a collector of them as maybe some can tell but, you know, it's my first nine of those, and we'll see how many more we get and whether or not I really expand my expertise in these. I'm more of a silver dollar collecting, like my Morgans, and I like my piece. So, we'll see. I'll hang on to them. Not bad for $6 a piece. $54 for those nine coins. I'm sure I can turn a flip on that if I want, but I'm going to keep them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.